Your Web3 social identity. What is it and how do we make it? My name is Seb Monty and my goal is to take you from zero to hero with all things related to blockchain, but in particular, Solana. So let's dive in quickly with some tips and tricks regarding your identity. Your first place is Twitter. And these are my suggestions. These go for if you're an individual or if you're a project. Firstly, let's start with your name. My name is Seb Montgomery. Nice and easy. When possible, avoid things like underscores or characters that are hard to find or a name that's hard to pronounce or spell. Also, this is my real name, but my actual suggestion is to stay anonymous. Next, you want a little blurb. Keep it short and simple. You're not writing a story, you're just saying who you are. And the most important thing is consistency with regards to your PFP, in my opinion. Pick a profile picture or a picture of yourself that you're gonna use everywhere. This gets your identity or your brand out there with consistency, like a logo. Everyone recognizes the McDonald's logo, everyone recognizes the Apple logo. If you use five different PFPs everywhere, people are not gonna know it's you. So this is me as my profile picture, and I have a Twitter banner here, nice and simple. My next suggestion I'll cover in the intermediate course, but I do suggest having a website if possible, just something nice and simple. A lot of people will use a link tree. I prefer the domain name .link. So I have sebmonty.link. At present, my website is very simple, and it looks like a link tree but it's not a link tree. It's a domain name and web hosting. It's a web two solution, but the web two solution is the best solution in the world. So grab yourself a dot link from Namecheap or something like that. And I'll cover how to set it up in the intermediate course. Next, you have to decide who your identity is. Let's take Eloy Padori as an example. This is a good username. It's easy to remember. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It may be foreign, but it is a good username. With their profile picture, they have a D God. With their banner, they have all their NFTs. This shows support for two ecosystems, Ethereum and Solana, and that may be a very important part of their identity. Normally, this would be a little bit overcrowded, but always have a banner. And once again, my suggestion is to stay anonymous. It's safer when it comes to freedom of speech and things like that. But of course, still be respectful, open-minded and intelligent. Here's an example of someone I follow, Topo. This is Monolith, the creative genius behind the Degenerate Ape Academy. Once again, very, very simple. If you're gonna spend a little bit of time in Web3, my suggestion is also to get the blue tick with Twitter. You can see it here. Mono has it, Topo has it, Elo doesn't, and I have it. Now, what if you're a project, such as Clanosaurs? You can see this is very simple. They have the blue check, and they've got four links there, but I would still suggest having a dot link. But having a look at all the links, they're a little bit close together, in my opinion. And this one here, you have to copy and paste. If you go to the website, it's a fantastic website, but I would still suggest having a dot link set up as a link tree. This is the Degenerate Ape Academy. And once again, this is nice and simple too. And you can notice that they have a dot link, degenerate dot link. And here you've got links to everything you need in one place. This is just forwarded to link tree. So it's not my preference, but it still works. What if you're something smaller, like a group or something like that? This is the Solana Collective, which I'm a part of. No blue tick, which is fine. Very easy link to Discord, which is great, and very simple branding. And you'll notice they don't have the E at the end of Solana Collective, probably because it was taken, but it's still clean and easy to find. There's nothing hard to remember about that name. You may notice from time to time a .soul address, such as sebmontgomery.soul. We can search it, and other than the strange display here where the L should be over here, you can see Seb Montgomery is available for me to buy, if I want to. This can also help with your identity, but it's not as necessary. You also have the option of using all domains, where you can choose one of these here. So I could be sebmonty.bonk, and this is the most popular meme coin on Solana. And you can see this is available. I could also buy .poor, but I don't think it's good to put into the universe .poor. Maybe .moon could be better. There's also .abc, which I don't like, and .superteam, which is great if you're a dev or something like that. Now, what about connecting with people? Discord is used. It's a Web2 solution, but it's still the best. So until something Web3 comes along, this is what we use. Once again, keep your identity, your username, display name, keep it the same, nice and consistent. And if I have a look at my profile, you can see I've got all the information you need to see. And at the bottom, I always suggest linking at least your Twitter. I've got my Twitter linked here, my YouTube, and my Reddit. It helps in so many ways. If you're a creator or if you're trying to get a job, you should also link to your portfolio or your GitHub. And if you're in a lot of discords, you may want to get Nitro. That way you can have different server profiles. So as an example, in the Barrows, I use a different PFP. I very rarely change my PFP, but in the Barrows, people know who I am. So I use the PFP from their collection. If it's your first time getting into Discord, just be aware of scammers. At the end of this course, I'll give you the ultimate scam prevention and detection video. 
Finally, we have Telegram. The same thing applies here. Keep everything consistent. Telegram is used a lot in crypto and Web3, and it's used a lot at conferences when you need to DM someone. So as an example, I've got my name and I've got my profile picture. It's a slight variation on it, but this is my profile picture. Also, make sure you go into settings and then go to privacy and security and make sure your phone number is changed to nobody. You may want some in real friends to find you by number and that's up to you. But generally, nobody or my contacts. You don't want to share your phone number with the world. And that's an overview of starting your Web3 identity. It's using Web2 solutions with a Web3 twist. In the next video, I'll teach you about staking your Solana. Stay curious and catch you in that video.